I, I want people to understand that there's a critical load. So these bacteria, salmonella, they can live on these peanuts. And it takes a certain number of bacteria when they're ingested to actually cause illness. So what is salmonella? Well, you eat a product that's tainted. We've already talked about salmonella. It can be in peanut butter. It can be in eggs. It can be in certain meats. It can be virtually on anything that's contaminated. When you swallow food that has a critical mass of these bacteria on it, these bacteria become invasive organisms. And the salmonella can infect your gastrointestinal tract. Now, what happens when the salmonella infects your gastrointestinal tract is, of course, it can wreak havoc. It can cause everything from abdominal cramps to fevers to severe, even at times, bloody diarrhea. Because if you think about it, the bacteria is literally invading your intestinal walls, creating all of these symptoms. The good news is that most cases will resolve within four to seven days. And that is without any formal treatment. The bad news is that over half these cases are occurring in young kids. Mm -hmm. Especially and they are the ones to worry yeah. about. Under mm -hmm. age five, that age group probably gets diagnosed with salmonella more than any other age group. Kids are just more at risk for it. And mm -hmm. a lot of them end up in the hospital. You know, the, the symptoms usually start maybe 12 hours after ingesting, up to 72 hours after ingesting. So there's a wide range there in the hospital for a couple of days if you get sick enough. Right. And uh, they get you know, severe diarrhea causing dehydration. Mm -hmm. And, and that's why we're talking about salmonella, because the other thing about salmonella is it can, it can potentially enter your bloodstream, mm -hmm. become a more Ooh, serious yeah. illness. But the number one thing is if you're having symptoms of fevers, bloody diarrhea, severe diarrhea, abdominal pain, you can't keep fluids down, it's not really your job to say, well, this is definitely salmonella. Your job is to go get the medical attention that you or your children need. And on, in an ideal world, you'll prevent it. And so that's if you have, any, look at the list, go to cdc.gov. I urge everyone to do this. It's always better to be safe than sorry in these recall instances. Yes, thank you so much. I was really concerned. Well, thank I you for better. being a concerned mother. And yes, and thank raising you. That with us. And you can find a link to the CDC's website at our website, thedoctorstv.com.